All right, so I'm going to show you how to run a conference. Um, you know, conferences are new to me too, so um, I'm kind of learning as I go on this, so I may not tell you everything you want to know, um, and I'm not perfect in everything I say about this kind of stuff, but I'm going to do the best I can. All right, so obviously you're going to come over here and click conferences, and in order to get it started, you're going to click your plus sign. All right, so this is going to pop up. Now, you can keep it as to whatever the default name is that pops up. This is whatever the name of your class is that comes up up here. Um, or you can name it whatever unit is y'all are talking about, which would be the reason why you're having your conference. Uh, for example, my son in his second grade class, they're talking about whales. And so I could name the conference whales because that may be what they're talking about. If you want to say, I don't want to talk for 60 minutes, we just want to have a 20 minute conference, go make it a 20 minute conference. Um, down here is kind of cool. If you want to talk about, okay, I want everybody invited to this conference, great. I teach 130 people. I may not want 130 people coming. I may want to just invite my second block um, so I can remove and only have certain kids come. And if that's the case, then I could go in and click who I do not want to come or who I do want to come. These are my pretend students who are actually my teacher co-workers. Um, that's up to you. You can just play with these buttons and take people out or add people. Or you may want everybody to come. That's up to you. I would just say invite all. And then you just go and click update just to get it started. Um, and then this little gear over here is in case you want to edit it. Or if you don't like this, then you click delete. Um, so you can set that up ahead of time and just not start it until it's time. All right, so let's go ahead and go into it. Now, as you're going into it, um, every little um, pop-up in the world is going to come, and that's getting it ready for your microphone, for your video camera. Are you going to give it permission to let it use your video camera on your, com on your computer? Are you giving it permission to use your microphone, your video camera, all this kind of stuff? So different things are going to pop up, and you're going to have to keep saying yes. And by the way, I have not refresh my makeup and hair um so be prepared for the visual you are going to get with me in a minute all right so here's a box allow that was for the microphone and now they're going to do a little echo test um it'll do that for you also all right all right click yes you are currently the only person in this conference so that happens and so as of right now, I only have a microphone working, but you're going to want your uh, video camera to work so that your students can see you. So come down to the bottom of your screen where it says share webcam and click that. And here comes another little pop up. So go up here and click allow. Click allow again. And then here comes the little webcam with my little lack of makeup and click start sharing. And that'll just take a hot minute. And I'm going to, oh, here's another one, allow. And I'm going to X out of this little box. And so as your students start coming in, and your, your image is going to look better than that. I've, I've got some really bad lighting happening. Um, as your students start coming in, your box will get smaller and your students' boxes will start filling in. Um, you notice up here it says start recording. Um, it's kind of like wearing a seatbelt in a car. Uh, you know, if you, it might be a good idea for you to record your session uh, just so for your safety. You know, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that, I said this um, during your session. So it's just, you know, have a recording as to what happened. Um, you've got your little chat down here. I was doing a conference with a class the other day and I had a student who was doing everything through his phone and he couldn't hear what I was saying. He could see me, but he couldn't hear me. And so I just started, um, doing a chat of everything that I was saying and then he knew what was going on. So that's an idea. Um, also as new students came in rather than, um, the students speaking aloud to each other, they could just say, you know, hey, John, hey, Ralph, hey, Ryan, um, rather than them blurting out to each other and slowing me down. Um, I wanted to show you something over here. Look up here at the top at this gear. This is super cool. Click on it and you can mute all of your users. 
Uh, a word of caution, sometimes when you mute them all, it's hard to unmute them. Um, like I said, it, this is new to me and I have been in conferences as the student where the it was an administrator, he had a hard time unmuting us and I managed to unmute myself um, when I clicked on my own name over here, I was able to unmute myself. Um, so there's ways to do it, but you may have to play around with it a little bit. Um, there's also a way to see right here, when I click next to my name, see where it says set status? This is cool. Um, there's this little arrow and you, this is where kids can raise their hand or say they're confused or sad or happy or they can applaud you or give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's super cute. So let's say they want to raise their hand. It uh, gives a little hand raise right here. But I mean, the way I did it the other day when I was with my kids and we had all our little boxes, um, I just had them do this because that's easier for me to see. Or they did this, Miss Barry, Miss Barry, because that was super easy to see too. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. I think I said everything I wanted to say. Um, and if you have anything else you need, let me know. I hope I told you enough. Anyway, 